Hello friends, this video on statistics part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study central tendency. In central tendency, we will study mean, median and more. We will also study measure of dis dispersion. In measure of dispersion, we will study range, quartile deviation, mean deviation and standard deviation. We will also study frequency distribution, continuous frequency distribution. distribution limitations of mean deviation, variance, standard deviation and analysis of frequency distribution. What is statistics? Statistics is nothing but science of average and estimates. Please note, statistics is nothing but science of average and estimates. When we want to take average, we want to estimate things, we use statistics. In statistics, we deal with data and data has to be for a specific purpose. For example, when we are talking about population of India, we should think only about population of India. We should take data that is concerned about the population of India. For example, the age, the salary, living condition, religion, sex, those kind of things is data about population of India. But data such as uh, the quality of road or the weight of the fan, the such data is not relevant to population of India. So when we are talking about population of India, we are talking only about data that is collected for specific purposes. When we have data, when we have analyzed data and we have interpreted it, we can take decisions. We can take business decisions based on data from statistics. So let me repeat once again. Statistics is a science that deals with average and estimates. Here we deal with data that is collected only for specific purposes and we can make decisions about the data by analyzing and interpreting it. I'll take some example. For example, demographic. Demographic example, for example, I'm talking about population of India. Population of India. So when I'm talking about population of India, the data I'll collect is, first is, data I'll collect is sex, age, salary, right, religion, those kind of things. So based, now we have this data, for example, we have data about all the people in India, all Indians we have, what is the age, what is the salary, what is the religion, and those kind of stuff. Now, what we have to do is, we have to find Let's suppose uh, sex ratio, male is to female or female is to male ratio, I think, right? Female is to male ratio. For this, we'll take this data and we'll find this. How we'll find this? We'll add all female, we'll add all, add all male and we'll divide this. Correct? We have to find the average salary. What we'll do? We'll take all the salary and we'll divide it by the number of people. We'll get average salary. So, demography of data and we have to find all this thing. This may sound confusing to you, but you'll understand this in the later chapters. But what I'm trying to say is, status is nothing about science of average and estimates. It deals with data. So here, this is our data. So based on, on these data, we'll do some average and we'll estimate and we'll come to a conclusion. We'll analyze this, we'll interpret this data, we'll use average and estimate and we'll come to our decisions. The decision is, we can say that sex ratio is this much, this value, unemployment, unemployment, UE ratio is this much, those kind of stuff. Correct? We'll take more examples. For example, say strength. So sales trend, for sales trend, also we use statistics. One good example, let's suppose there is a mobile company and the mobile company wants to launch a phone. Now, the question is how many sets that mobile company should manufacture? Because if it manufactures more set and this, if the phones are not getting sold, the company will be in loss. If it is selling, if it is manufacturing less number of sets, there will be scarcity of a set in the market. So they have to find, they have to guess the number of sets they can manufacture. For, for that, what they'll do? They know that their customers are Indians. For example, they're launching in India market. Now for that, they'll what they'll do? They'll find data. For example, what is the salary of the customers, Indians? Do they have set or not, right? Set or not? Are they ready to spend? Ready to spend? If it is costly set, they'll uh, market only in metros, such kind of thing. Or what is the past experience, past sale data? So these are the data. Based on these data, they'll analyze it. 
they will take average, they will do, they will take their estimate and based on that they will come to a sales trend and on the basis of sales trend they can take this. For example, yeah, this phone, since the price of this phone is 8000 rupees, so I can expect to make only 1 lakh piece because I have only 1 lakh Indian who can buy this. The next phone, this is phone A and for phone B, since the price is uh, 2000 rupees, there are a lot of people who can buy this, so I'll make this 10 lakh, 10 lakh pieces. Such kind of thing is generated from statistics. You may not understand this, but just try to understand this. For getting sales trend, we need statistics, wherein first we find data, and then we find average and estimates, we analyze it, and we come to the decision. Also, unemployment ratio, similar to the demographic data, we want to find unemployment ratio, we can use statistics. Also, as I told, data is used for business decisions. For every decisions, business decisions, you need data. And how we do that? We do that by statistics. We have a huge data, right? From huge data, you can't take distance. For example, you have data of salary of one lakh people, one lakh Indian. Looking at the salary, you will get confused. The businessman won't have time also. What he needs? He needs crisp and clear format. And that thing is done by statistics. For example, this is data, huge data. So from this data, he'll come with a report. The report will say the average salary is this, the maximum salary is this, the minimum salary is this, average salary of city is this, those kind of things. Based on that, they can take this. Correct? One example which I'll give you is very similar to your school. For example, you have a school in your class, uh, in mathematics class, in mathematics, there are students, let's suppose there are 30 students. And they have got number like 90, 80, 88, 87, 86, like this, and 30, one guy got 20 also, 21 also, 72 also, like this. Now, this is the data. Your teacher has got this. Your teacher is aware of this data. Now your teacher wants to present this data to principal. Since this is a huge data, right? For every subject you'll have the data. And the principal won't have time to understand this. So what she will do? She will apply statistics on this data and she will say the range is the maximum number is 90, the topper got 90 and the minimum score was 20. The average score is, she will find the average and she will tell the average score. So what she has done now? She has converted this huge data into this form. In this case we had only 40 or 50 students. But guess what, we are talking about the whole school or if we are talking about the whole district, whole city, whole country. When the CBSE results are out, now we have data about the whole country, right? We have data about 10 lakh people and this data, let's suppose you want to go and give it to education minister. You can't give the whole result to education minister. He won't do anything. He can't do anything with that. So in that case also, you have to give like this. The maximum is this, minimum is this, average is this. And to get this, we need statistics. To make things clear, statistics is nothing but science of average and estimate. Here we deal with data that is collected for specific purpose and from that data we take decisions. Correct? Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.